It is Friday, August uh, 5th here in Northern California. Beautiful day. Kind of like enjoying the TG cabin and gardens and, and the neighbors' construction projects and things like that. So, but uh, it's been a really interesting week around here. Matter of fact, as I play that, that was, that was Who Done It. I'm thinking, God, this sounds terrible. Strings are old. I think it's too much dust on my saddle and stuff kicking around in the yard here. I think it was the cowboy songs. They have taken their toll on my strings. I'm gonna go change them this afternoon. You should change your strings every couple months at the most, at the least. I'm starting to sound really thumpy and dead anyway. So, uh, but. It was the cowboy songs that did it. Had a lot of fun putting together um, some a little bit more elaborate arrangements of rather than just the simple campfire things on a few of them. We started off the week for the Target program, of course, with I Ride in Old Paint, taking a look at a song that goes way back and uh, quite a few different versions of that out there. Your typical cowboy song with a little bit of yodeling kind of or a fun little chorus yippee ty io kind of things. That's not in that one, but that has the uh, get around little doggies, ride around slow kind of thing in it. And um, then we took a look at The Ballad of Jesse James. Now that was a, um, I, again, I had a lot of fun doing research into that, looking up a little bit more about Jesse James. Some people kind of look at him as a folk hero, others look at him as like a cold-blooded murderer. So probably a little bit of, uh, well, somewhere in between. But and uh, then we took a look at Home on the Range, another old classic, and we looked at some really interesting things you can, you can do with it, adding in a little bit of extra melody here and there and, and stuff like that. So, so um, yeah, this Cowboy Week thing is, maybe it's getting out of control. I mean, I was happy to see this. I thought about doing that one, but uh, it was kind of cool that that sort of inspired uh, Corey to put together a busking Marty Robbins thing. So I hope everybody's had a chance to check out uh, our little version of El Paso that, uh, that is in the busking channel now. And let's add in some other stuff. Let's get Big Iron or something. Now Marty of course did Streets of Laredo as well. Um, a little while, and he of course did this. But a little differently than that. Um, well, let's see what else is going on in the... Uh... Oh, I do want to di digress first into... Digress? Divert? head into um, in a quick update on Matt B. A lot going on out there. He's in Houston right now. I hope everybody gets a chance to check out the blog. There was a post today, August 5th, as to what's happening. And um, they're still trying to raise, you know, raise some of his medical funds. And there is good progress on that. We're getting about a quarter of the way towards the, towards the goal. So be sure to check out Matt's blog at the Matt B versus VS Cancer dot com to uh, to see what's see what's happening there but uh, he's he's with his family in Houston and uh, some really interesting stuff on the blog so be sure to, to check that out today if you can or tomorrow or whenever you happen to see this so um, heading to the other side of the world so I mean the Texas thing is what going on with all the Cowboys is what uh, sort of reminded me of that too and heading to the other side of the world we had a couple of ukulele lessons from our buddy Hal this time it was Kimo Hula which is a uh, which was written by Keola's great-grandmother Helen Deshay Beamer and she uh, again uh, very uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for wrote a lot of things um, proficient oh, I can't remember anyway the words are escaping me now but more around the turn of the century she was a um, uh, well-known musician in Hawaiian culture and uh, her tune Kimo Hula is is up now in the ukulele lessons and then a little more contemporary thing called a pua lalia so that is uh, that's what we've added to the the ukulele prob problem program words are just escaping me today maybe I should just get back to playing <laughs> back on track. I just had to, had to do a little Doors tune. Uh, what else? We had some reviews. We 
touched up a little bit of Cat Stevens. And um, what was the other review? Oh, Two Cat Sam, one of our first time uploaders. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look at his, his uh, upload of Margaritaville. So some good, good tips in there. And uh, we got back to the Fly on the Wall program. Again, I promised a little while ago that I was going to try to make it spread out our stuff a little bit more and have a little more variety of things. So I met, met my goal this week of a couple of fly on the walls and a couple of uh, student reviews. So things are, things are getting a little bit better in balance around here. And uh, one of them really interesting. Actually, they were both interesting. I thought. Except that if you watch my lesson with Fred, I think we get to a point where I kind of try to play a lead in there and it just, it goes south really fast. I totally forgot what key we were in, what song we were playing. Uh, it's bad. But, um, and then we of course had the third part of, of uh, Matt R's lesson who came out here from, uh, from the East Coast uh, back in March, I think. No, maybe not quite that. Maybe. Anyway, and uh, we were looking at, at Wendy and Lorne. Speaking of which, and that's about it for, that's almost it for the news today because, but I did want to, um, the song I played back at the beginning was um, Who Done It? And I am looking for, now that we've finished um, my sets of songs, we had three pretty long drip feed sessions with that one, this one, of course, and, and somewhere in between we had. Sleight of hand. So, um, looking for a new kind of complicated instrumental to do a drip feed on, and I think I've narrowed it down to a few. Here's one you may not have heard. Wait a minute. I may not have heard it either. A little string band music music from the uh, turn of the last century. So um, anyway, just want to let you know what's, uh, what's percolating here in uh, my feeble mind as far as, as, far as cool lessons to, to bring you, but uh, I think it's time for another challenging guitar instrumental. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be starting, uh, starting to head into one of those. Maybe it'll be this. Whoa, hit the right notes. You know, when, when the strings are sticky, you just can't get there. probably enough for today. I'm hoping to get some good practice time in. I do have a little show coming up in a couple of weeks and still trying to decide what tunes are going to make it into the show and what are not. It's tough. Got, there's some really cool ones out there. Sometimes I think about doing this. Sometimes I think about doing that. Sometimes I think about doing... Ah, uh, we haven't talked about that one. Okay, I think enough for today. I am going back to practicing. Extra credit to anybody that can identify all the songs I alluded to today. That might be the weirdest one. So that's it. I will see you next Friday. I think everything's under control for next week. Yes, we will get back to the news next Friday, which will, must be about August 12th or something like that. <laughs>